How's it going out there, everyone? This is going to be what I call a re-review of Picard Episode 7, Season 3. And that's basically because when I uploaded my last video, I noticed that it was up to 25 minutes long. And then I went to other YouTube channels just to see how long their videos were. And it was anywhere from 17 minutes up to two hours. And I said, you know, there's a lot of people out there who just don't have time to go through these type of videos and sit through a 25 minute, let alone two hours. So I'm gonna see if I can break this thing down in just a few minutes. The crew of the Titan are now fugitives, wanted by Starfleet and also hunted by Vatic. They've got nowhere to go. So in the last des desperate attempt, they contact Captain Tuvok. Tuvok informs them that uh, there's no sign of Commander Riker on any of the security logs, excuse me, Captain Riker, and also that with them being fugitives in Starfleet, it will be very difficult to get them assistance. So he basically suggests meeting up so they can he can give them in contact with people who will help them better than what, she, what they're going through right now. Seven's no fool, so she decides to test him on a couple of questions about their relationship on Voyager, and she... Tuvok passes the first question with no problems, but then screws up, and then realizes, and then Seven realizes that uh, this is a changeling they're dealing with. The changeling quickly informs them that uh, they're dead. They might as well just accept it. Their their fate is sealed. At that moment, they start getting tracked by Starfleet, and they have to cut the transmission. Picard's had enough and he demands to know what's happened to Captain Riker. The change in sh changes into Riker and basically says, Riker's dead, you're all dead. And at that moment, they cut the transmission. Geordi just basically tells him, look, we can't keep doing this anymore. We're on our own. The next scene basically discusses the moral and ethical problems with using biological weapons against the changelings considering that, that that had been done during the Dominion War and Beverly's having a problem with this whole idea but it may come down to using such weapons against them. They need more information about what is going on and why Vatic stole the Picard remains so they go over to Data who's having a crisis of his own, a multiple personality disorder because both Lore and Data are da battling for the dominance of that body and Lore is the more powerful and dominant of the two. Data eventually fights through it to, to tell them that the diagnosis of Picard's Aramonic Syndrome may have been in error and there is something else going on. Back on the Shrike, Vatic tells her boss that uh, the Titan crew is not giving up Picard, they're fighting, and she doesn't see any way of getting a hold of Jack. And the creature basically tells her, you're not as strong as you think you are, you will get Jack. We only have 36 hours left and he is important to us. Get him or you're dead. Not sure how far away they are, but whatever the distance is, this creature seems to have the ability to inflict pain on Vatic. Back on the Titan, Jack and Sydney share a turbo lift ride, where Jack basically is trying to put some moves on Sydney, and she likes it, but all of a sudden Jack is able to hear voices again. He's still hearing those voices, but he's also able to hear her thoughts, and those thoughts are pretty much He's cute, you know, it'd be great if he put his, put his hands on me. Well, she wants him to reach out and grab his hand, but when, she, when he does that, as the turbo lift doors open, she suddenly looks back at him and goes, why did you do that? As if she was thinking it and all of a sudden he did it. She wants to know how that was possible. The Titan is receiving a signal what looks to be coming from com Captain Riker, but unfortunately it's got a frequency match to the Shrike, which means it's coming from the Shrike and Riker is a prisoner there. Jack talks to Picard about how he is, hasn't felt like a other person, sh like a human should feel. He's been feeling weird his entire life and things are only getting worse. He's getting these darker images, hearing voices, and he wants Picard to turn him over to Vatic. That way all the pain and suffering can end because it's all his fault. Picard basically says, no, I'm not giving up on you. The Shrike finds Titan adrift in space, what looks to be like a battle with a Vulcan vessel. And when they do an audio search, they find that 
they were in battle with a Vulcan ship and the warp core was damaged and life support is on emergency and there are limited life signs aboard the vessel. Vatic is desperate. She doesn't want to go through any more trouble so she decides to board the vessel but they use shuttles. They refuse to use the transporters for some reason. Once on board the first person they encounter is Jack who tells who tells Jack, Vatic tells Jack, that uh, she wants to take him away from here to a very special place and everything will be fine after that. Where is this place? Jack asks and J she replies, oh, it would be so much easier to show you. And his response is, catch me if you can. And he runs off. Basically, this was a trap that they set up to catch Vatic and her men, separating them from her and catching Vatic. And now, with all Vatic's troops contained, they plan to beam back to La Forge. But for some reason, the transporters are denying them it's not working. And basically, it's because Lore is taking control of the ship. Beverly and Jean Luc interrogate Vatic, who basically tells them that she and nine of her changeling brothers and sisters were taken prisoner during the Dominion War and tortured and experimented on him, injected with multiple chemicals and pain more than anyone could ever imagine. So she has such a lovely sentiment for Starfleet and wants nothing more than to see them burn. They basically tell Vatic that they know exactly what she's up to. They're going to use the Picard body and the blood of Jack to make the perfect replica of Picard. She's so cocky and arrogant about it, she's pretty much telling them, you don't know nothing about, you don't even know the physiology of your own son. You don't even know if he's even your son. Jack and Sydney have major problems now because not only is Lore playing with the force fields, weakening them, the containment fields, he's put a force field up between Jack and Sydney. Beverly and Picard once again are debating the morality and ethical values of whether they should kill off Vatic or not. But Beverly points out a very good point. When they, once they invited her onto the ship, they brought death on board, so we're going to have to kill her. The force fields are weakening even more. Jordi, in a last-ditch effort, tries to plead with Data. Law's got serious dominating control over the body, but Data's in there somewhere, and Jordy's just telling him, when you died, it killed me, but your memories, your, your love of humanity, it brought me back. It brought me back to a happier place, and I've got my family here. Could you please help us? The force fields are down now, and Sydney is getting the ever-living heck beat out of her, while at the same time, Jack is having his issues. At this moment, Jack and Sydney are in a mind connection moment here. They're, they're telepathically linked to each other. Jack's pulling like a, almost like a Jedi moment where he is doing moves blocked by a force field and she's doing the exact same moves. He is mimicking his moves telepathically and kicking this guy's ass. It was really a cool scene to watch. LaForge is able to reach Data and Data says he's going to try and, and keep, keep control. Vatic is all smiles because the force field is coming down. And once it's down, it's over. Once the field is down, Vatic escapes. So as I said before, while they were under while Vatic was under interrogation, she, she talked about the tragedies that she went through. But she also mentioned the name of the project. Project Proteus, which is what they were looking for right here to find out a way that they can track them. Once they find the chemicals that were involved with the experiment, they inform Shaw that they're on Deck 9 and they're heading for the turbo lift of the bridge. Shaw's not able to stop them, unfortunately, and the only thing i got to say about this is I'm pretty sure at this point Shaw is really thinking about a different career line of work if he ever gets through this because ever since this show began, he's been taking some ass weapons. With Vatic now in control of the Titan, 
she sits down in the captain's chair and declares that she is the captain of the USS Titan and Jack you have no idea what's about to happen to you but she's gonna show you who you really are and that is my brief review of Picard season 3 episode 7 Dominion I hope you enjoyed it and comment below and let me know what you think my friends until the next time God bless